I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path... The other path leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. But in truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago, when I first embarked on this journey. I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads. But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse. We are ready, passengers. Your journey is about to begin. Come with me. They say that every story has a beginning and an end. That might be true in most cases. Sometimes, however, the two are one and the same. My name is Zoe Castillo. I don't usually look this pale, but that's what you get for being in a coma. That's my father, Gabriel. I'm all he's got in this world. My mother died 15 years ago and I don't have any siblings. I think he'll be very lonely when I'm gone. 
I wish I could have talked to him one last time, let him know that everything will be okay. But that would be a lie. The only thing I could have said is goodbye. Since I'm lying in that bed, but I'm talking to you from out here, I guess this is what they call an out-of-body experience. I'm not sure anyone can hear me, but I've had some experience with voices from the grave recently, so I'm giving it a shot. Bad things are happening, and everyone who knows the truth is either dead or has vanished off the face of the earth. If I can get through to someone, anyone, maybe something can be done. So if you can hear me, please listen. This is very, very important. It might just be the most important thing ever. You'll have to forgive me for using the oldest cliché in the book. It all began when... Causing the unfortunate cow to implode. Ryan? Moo, <laughs> that's a spicy a meatball. <laughs> to err as human, to forgive is bovine. <laughs> I'm running out of cow jokes here, people. Thanks, Diane. The static has been blamed for a chain collision this morning on the Crosstown Express, killing one person and injuring five. Witnesses say that a delivery truck lost wire contact and manual systems failed to take over, causing it to hit another vehicle. This accident coincides with a new report from CTU, claiming definitive evidence that the static is caused by heavy sunspot activity. The report has already come under fire from several... <laughs> Must be some kind of viral ad. Cricket's coming home, folks, and the critters are knocking them down like there's no tomorrow. In the opening innings, the Kasawi fast bowlers came out gunning for glory. Zoe, there's a message. My mobile's beeping. The only firing the critters got done this summer. The tourists were found haplessly running and hitting an air. Local attacks and running rampage with their top order. The South African captain was looking at the scoreboard. Central, screen off. This is an automatic reminder sent by... Oh, shit. The gym. I have to hurry. Hiya, Wonkers. Zoe, do you want to play a game? Not today. I'm just not in the mood. Oh. Okay, then. Remind me what's on my schedule today, Wonkers. Well, there's the gym at 11.30. Right. And after that? There's the party tonight. There's nothing before that? No, Zoe. That's all. I really need a job. Don't you get bored just sitting here in my room? I know I do. I don't get bored. I think a lot. You do? About what? About the fun times we've had together, Zoe. The memories make me happy. Wonkers, that's... sad. Why? I'm not programmed to feel sad, Zoe. I'm programmed to feel happy. Always. Lucky you. I wish I knew what that was like. I need to get going. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in so long. I'm sorry, Wonkers. I just... haven't felt much like playing lately. Okay, then. Good morning, Zoe. Dad? What are you still doing home? Having my coffee. Train's not leaving until one o'clock, so I thought I'd sleep in for a change. Train? What train? The train for Bombay. 
Bombay. Good Lord, Zoe. Did you forget already? We spoke about it on Tuesday. I'm going on a business trip to Bombay, remember? Oh, Bombay, right. I thought that was next... Oh, wait. It's today Thursday. How pathetic is that? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Well, at least you're up before noon. That's something. So, do you have any plans this morning? I mean, what's left of it? Um, I'm going to the gym. See? You still have passion for something. It's either that or scan the wanted ads and get depressed about all the jobs I don't qualify for. If you feel that way, why don't you go back to school? Dad, don't start. I'm sorry, Zoe, but you're obviously not happy here either. Change your major. Biotech's not the only thing Cape Town's got to offer. Hell, why not change university? I'll help you. In fact, Bombay's got a great school for bioengineering. I could stop by while I'm there. We've had this discussion already. Oh, I wish it was that easy. Don't you think I miss having direction and ambitions? Now I'm just... Oh, I just don't know what I want. Can you please understand that? I need time. Fine, I won't push. I'm happy to have you home, Zoe. I just hate to see you like this. So do I, Dad. So do I. So, what's happening in Bombay? We're signing a contract with a new biotech outfit, and they need me to do another on-site evaluation. Oh, that sounds really, really boring. I thought you wanted to do more lab work. I did. I do. This is what happens when you get a promotion. Serves you right for having ambitions. So when are you coming back? I'm not actually sure. It could take a few days. It could be as much as two weeks. Really? Two weeks? I have the house to myself for... I, I mean, I have to be alone for two weeks. Yes, and we talked about this on Tuesday as well. Oh, sorry. My mind's just elsewhere. <laughs> I'll say. Buy me something in Bombay. Something exotic. An alarm clock, maybe? Funny. Listen, Dad, would you mind terribly if I had a few people over tonight? You're asking me if you can have a party. No. Not a party. More like a uh, soiree. Ah, oh, right. Uh, I'm guessing there won't be any boys or alcohol at the soiree? There definitely won't be any drugs. How's that? Hmm. You know how to put things into perspective, Zoe. All right. When did you ever need my permission anyway? I know how to play you, Dad. That's what daughters do. I'll leave you to your coffee. Have a nice trip, okay? So you don't know when you'll be back? No, but uh, call me if there's anything. I might not pick up corporation rules, but I'll call you back. I promise. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Be good, okay? Yeah, yeah. Haven't you forgotten something? Mm, no. I don't think so. What? Uh, clothes? I'm telling you right now, no daughter of mine's going out dressed like that. Oh, right. No, I was just, you know, checking out the weather. Looks nice. I'll go put some clothes on now. Bye, Dad. Have a safe trip, okay? I will. Bye, sweetheart. Morning, sweetie. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Hi, Liv. 
I'm going to the gym and I'm running a bit late, so... Hey, listen. I've got something you should take a look at. You're not in a rush, are you? I guess the gym can wait. What's up? Not out here, silly. Big hush-hush. Inside. Did you see that? See what, sweetie? On the screen. I saw the same thing earlier today. It was like... I don't quite know how to describe it. Like interference, but not just noise. It was clear, but distorted. Like a bad dream. Mm, no. It could have been the static. It's been getting worse by the day. I even got disconnected from the wire for a few moments this morning. Scariest moment of my life since the collapse. Not counting that time I rode the mechanical bull. Never again. So, what did you see? There's this snowy landscape with a black house. And a little girl who looks like a ghost. And she speaks to me. Save her. Find her. Really, really freaky stuff. Wow, that is scary. I haven't seen that. I definitely would have remembered. Are you sure you just haven't been watching too many horror movies lately? I mean, spend enough hours in front of the screen and you're bound to start seeing stuff. Don't you start with that too, Liv. I'm already feeling guilty enough as it is. I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean anything. No, it's okay. It's me. I don't know what's going on with me. I can barely get out of bed in the morning. Every day is exactly the same, and I'm not doing anything to change that. There's no school to go to, no job, and I barely spend time with my friends. What's left of them? I see you all the time, don't I? You haven't abandoned me. No. But that's because it's so easy to come here. If it requires any more effort on my part... And that goes for everything. I'm on autopilot. It's probably exhaustion, sweetie. You've had a tough year. You dropped out of school broke up with Reza, moved back home. All of that's bound to take its toll, no? You're probably right. And I do complain way too much, don't I? I don't want to be the whiny, apathetic Zoe. I want to be me again. Anyway, enough about me. You wanted to show me something. What was that, sweetie? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's something really cool. Oh, sorry. Before I forget... Dad's out of town, and I'm having some people over tonight. Would you like to come? I was going to unpack a new delivery tonight, but... Sure. Work can always wait. Who's coming? The usual suspects. Great. Sounds fun. How about Reza? I haven't seen him in ages. I really miss him. Any chance you guys are getting back together soon? He's not the right guy for me at this point. I mean, I love him to death. He's great. But... It was getting too serious. What I mean is, I was getting too serious. It was just way too early for that. And that whole long distance thing was becoming a problem for us. It's pretty ironic that as soon as we're broken up, I move back here. Five minutes away from his apartment. Not that it makes a difference. I'm just happy we're still friends and that we're comfortable with each other. You and him are my two best friends. I don't ever want to lose that. But getting back together... Nope. Besides, I don't think he'll be coming to the party. He's been really busy. So, eight-ish? I'll bring my charm and a bottle of tequila. Now, I have something to show you. What is it? WSL suppressor software. Okay. Let's pretend for a second that I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Can do. It's like, uh, a cloak for your mobile. Want to be invisible? Just tap the screen. Well, actually, you select menu and applications, and then the icon that looks like a penguin, and then activate. But that's like one, two, three, okay, four taps. Small price to pay, seeing as you're now invisible, right? I don't get it. I'm invisible. 
No, you're not invisible. That is impossible. Except with a very, very expensive combat suit, and those things don't hold up to a can of spray paint. What this little hack does is make your mobile invisible to the eye in the sky. You're untraceable. The Syndicate can't track your mobile. Mondo, cool, huh? That is cool. How does it work? You just, what, wear it to my mobile? Yup. Easy as strawberry pie. Give me a second and I'll... Oops. This is, like, important, sweetie. I'm buying a batch of exclusive Ethiopian mobiles directly from the factory. Real cheap. So I gotta... Take it. I'll see you later. I'll hook you up with the software when you come back, okay? Tadia Salem, Denane. Hey, Zoe. Hiya. Out for a jog? Yep, well, I'm actually heading down to the gym for a quick workout before lunch. Hey, weren't you supposed to be there already? Yeah, I'm running a bit late. You should hurry. Jama won't be happy. I know, I know. I'm on my way. All right, we'll see you there. You're late. I'm sorry, I was just... Don't be sorry. Be on time. It won't happen again. I doubt that. You lack commitment, Zoe. You're my most talented student, but talent isn't everything. You don't take our work seriously anymore. You're wasting both your time and mine. I'm sorry, Jama. It just doesn't seem to matter as much to me as it used to. It's not that martial arts needs to be such an important part of your life. But passion is always important. If you lack passion for what you do, it's not worth doing. But let's leave it at that and get started on today's lesson. Ready? Go! That's it. Keep it up. That's it. Keep it up. Excellent work, Zoe. Not bad, Zoe. Not bad. Let's go again. No, I think I've had enough for today. Very well. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. And do try to be on time. Drama? Yes, Zoe. Do you still think I lack passion? You are extremely talented, Zoe. Among the best I've ever trained. But like I told you before, your heart's not in it. You can't get by on talent alone. If you have no passion for martial arts, you won't be able to improve beyond your current level. You have to decide what you want and how much you want it. Maybe this isn't for you. As it is, you're just wasting your talent. And my time. Well, thanks for being honest with me. I have to get going. Thank you, Jama. I'll see you tomorrow, Zoe. Don't be late.
believe it. That video is following me, I swear to God. And doesn't Jama always keep that screen switched off? This is getting a bit freaky. Hi, Reza. Hello. Are you busy? Mm, not really. Why? I need to talk to you. Can you meet me at Mocha Loco? Sure, when? Now? I'm already on my way there. All right, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Great. See you there. Reza? Hey. One moment. Rio? Yeah, call me when you're all set up. I'm with a friend. Okay, bye. Who was that? Well, hello to you too, Zoe. Hello. So who was that? <laughs> it's good to know that some things never change. It was just business. I'm curious, that's all. I'm happy you're dating again. It's not a date, it's just... Business, I know. I just don't want you to feel awkward talking about that stuff with me. We're past that. Noted. I'll make sure to tell you about all my romantic adventures, if they ever happen. So, how are you? I'm good. Dad left for Bombay today, so I've got the house to myself. I'm having a few people over tonight. Party? Officially, it's a small get-together. By the way, if you have time, I mean, you're welcome to... You can bring anyone you want. It's just a few people, nothing big. I wish I could, but I have some stuff to take care of, work stuff. I'm really sorry, I wish I... Don't worry about it. It's, it's no big deal. Next time, okay? What's going on with you, Reza? You've been busy. Working on a story? Neck deep, as usual. I've gotten about five hours worth of sleep in the last, what, 72 hours? Sounds like you're onto something big. It could be. I haven't taken it to the hand yet. I haven't even talked to Martin about it. I need more background, more research, but it's looking... It's looking pretty big. Can you tell me anything about it? I can't, I'm sorry. Come on, not even a hint. You know I never talk about the stories I'm working on. That wouldn't be ethical. And it wouldn't be safe. I know, I'm being nosy. No, you're just being your inquisitive and curious self. I really don't feel like myself anymore. Are you okay? I am. I should be. I don't have any reason to complain. My dad's been supportive. I have everything I could possibly need. Enough money to go anywhere I want. The thing is, I don't really care about anything anymore. I don't have any goals or ambitions and, and I hate feeling like this. It's not me. But you felt like that for a while, though, haven't you? I mean, it's what you told me when you broke up with. I know, Reza. But I thought it was just a passing phase, and now... Now it's starting to worry me. Is this how I'm going to be feeling for the rest of my life? I feel like I'm letting everyone down. I can't even muster up the enthusiasm, or the courage, to go down to Cape Town to visit Katrina and David. What does that tell you? That you're just stuck in a rut. That's all. And it's only been a couple of months since you left Cape Town. You deserve a break. I know you're trying to make me feel better, and I appreciate that, but... I don't know. I need more than reassurances at this point. I need something to get me up in the mornings. A direction in life. A purpose. Something to... Shit. Sorry. I have to take this one. No problem. Yeah? Thanks. Okay, I'll be back soon. Just stay there. Sorry about that, Zoe. I'm a bit stressed today. You were saying? Don't worry about it. I know you've got stuff to do. Speaking of that, you said on the phone you wanted to talk. What's up? I need a favour. Well, I guess I could squeeze it in. What is it? Do you know where the Sishadri building is located? Mm, nope. It's not far from the hub. 
There's a company there called Jiva, a biotech lab run by a woman named Chang, Helena Chang. All I need you to do is pick up a package from her. She's expecting me, but I don't have time right now, and I need that package as soon as possible. I don't want to use a courier simply because it's sensitive material. Chang was quite insistent that I can't pick it up in person. I'll send her a message and tell her you're picking it up instead. Is that all right? I mean, you don't mind, do you? Not at all. Seshaji Building, Jiva, Helena Chang, package. As soon as possible. And come to my apartment as soon as you have the package, okay? I'll get the hand that bites to pay you for a couple of hours' work. Don't worry about it. I'm not doing this for the feed, Reza. I'm doing it for you. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I guess I should get going. And you need to go do whatever it is you're doing. Business, top secret stuff. About that party. Sorry, small get together tonight. What? If I finish up early, I'll try and stop by. Okay, if you finish early. And if you can endure the gossip and the red wine, the way it's going, we're looking at a real girls' night in. I'll keep that in mind. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks again for helping me out, Zoe. Bye. Probably being paranoid, but something feels off about her. <gasps> Who are you? I'm here to pick up a package from Miss Chang. My name is Zoe Castillo. She's not here right now. I don't know anything about a package. You'll have to come back tomorrow. We're closed. I'd get out of your hair quicker if you could just give me two minutes of your time. Really? Could you just check in that room? Maybe Miss Chang left it in there somewhere. Oh, fine. I'll take a quick look. But if it's not in there, you will have to leave. We really are closed. Thank you so much. Hey, hey! What the hell are you doing? The doors are jammed, and the circuitry has been EMP'd. I should be able to climb up there. Another few minutes, 
What just happened? Who are those people? This is neither the place nor the time for explanations. We need to leave now. Someone's tampered with the system and blocked all access to this floor. I'll need to find a workaround. I've reactivated the manual override. Try the call button for the elevator. It should work now. Quickly, get into the elevator. We can't stay here any longer. I probably owe you my thanks for saving my life. I wasn't really thinking. I... Look at me, I'm shaking. That's just the adrenaline. It's perfectly normal. Not for me. It's not every day that someone tries to kill me. They weren't trying to kill you. They were trying to kill me. Now, who are you? And what were you doing in my laboratory? I'm Zoe Castillo. Are you Helena Chang? That's not... Castillo. I see. Yes. Yes, I'm Helena Chang. How do you know my name? I came by to pick up a package for a friend of mine, Jericho. Jericho? I told him I wouldn't give the package to anyone but him. He couldn't make it. Didn't he tell you? I never got that message. Maybe it was intercepted. That would explain a lot. Look, I don't like this. Those people who tried to... to kill you. Are they looking for... for Jericho too? I wouldn't know. But I need to leave right now. Here, take this. Please, deliver it to Jericho as soon as possible. What is it? Information. He'll know what to do with it. Why did you react to my name earlier? Do you know my father, Gabrielle? Your father? N no, no, I... I knew a Castillo once. A long time ago. I'm sorry. But I don't have time for chit-chat. I have to leave. Wait, I need to ask you... Please deliver the package to Jericho right away. And thanks again for your help. I shall not forget it. Zoe Castillo. Hey! Hey, wait! Damn it. Reza has some serious explaining to do. doesn't have a cat. And why is the door to his apartment open? Reza? Reza! He never leaves the apartment unlocked. This is weird. Whoa! My God! Are you okay? She's... cold. Oh no, not again. What the hell is going on? Find April. Save April. Those are... Those are eye commandos. Downstairs. Guys tracking alive when on the premises. Proceed with caution. Sir, we've got a body. That's the woman we're looking for, Neo Karoki. Be advised, Tamiz is now our prime target. He may be considered armed and dangerous. Sir, we've got a lock. In there. Go! 
on your knees, hands behind your head. Listen, I... I warned you. State your name and CID number for the record. What is this place? Who are you? State your name and CID number for the record. I want a lawyer. Name and CID number now. I was scanned when I was brought in. You know who I am. You're being held under the Syndicate Anti-Corporate Activities Statute in connection with murder and possession of contraband software. I would strongly suggest that you cooperate in every way possible, or face the consequences. You guys shot me. Isn't that a violation of my rights as a citizen? I will remind you that your freedom is in the balance, Miss Castillo. We have enough to convict you on several counts. You could be facing up to 30 years in a corporate prison, or you could choose to cooperate. As of this moment, Miss Castillo, you have no rights. What were you doing in Mr. Tamiz's apartment? Reza, Tamiz, asked me to do a favour for him this afternoon. He's a good friend of mine. I went to pick up a package downtown, and I was just dropping it off when, well, you know. Where did you pick up this package? A company called Jiva. They're located in the Sashadri building downtown. I can't remember the floor. And who did you meet at Jiva? Helena... Helena something... I can't... Chang. Helena Chang. Look, I was doing Reza a favour. He told me to pick it up and bring it over to his place. That's all. This Helena person. She had something that's connected to a story Reza's working on. What kind of story? He didn't tell me. He never tells me. It really was just a favour for a good friend. Please, you have to believe me. I don't know what's going on. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes. You were. We know that you would nothing to do with the murder, but that doesn't clear you from the charges. You are to remain in Casablanca for the time being. If Mr. Tamiz attempts to contact you, you are to call us immediately. Now, tell us again, from the top, what did Mr. Tamiz ask you to do for him? Hi, this is Reza. I'm either busy or I'm sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up, and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Um, hi. It's me. Your your mobile's probably been switched off for, uh, for obvious reasons, but if we do get this message... Reza, um, please, please come home. I'm sure things can be sorted out if you just come home. I'm really worried. Call me, okay? Bye. Or send me a message, just oh, something, anything. Bye. Come on, Dad, please pick up, please pick... Hello, Zoe. Dad? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm currently away from my phone. Leave me a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Oh, shit. Zoe, there's a message. Hey Zoe, um, this is sort of awkward. Bonkers, I don't have time to... But remember the time we hopped the vac tracks to Europolis without telling anyone, and you got completely shit-faced? What? I had to carry you to that sleazy hotel down on Jarl Street, and you spent half the night throwing up. The next morning, you bought me that antique lighter, remember? Zoe, this is Reza. I, um, modified Wonkers a bit to make him play a pre-recorded message in case something happened to me. I don't want you to worry. All this means is that I haven't checked in with him for 24 hours. I'm probably okay. However, in case something has happened, I need you to do me a favor. 
I keep an updated copy of my notebook in my apartment at all times. It contains everything about the story I'm currently working on. I wire over my notes and research twice a day. I need you to get that notebook now and take it somewhere safe. If I'm... if I'm in trouble, get the information inside to my editor. You'll need to decrypt it first, so talk to you-know-who. She can take care of that, I'm sure. To find the notebook, I keep it somewhere safe. Go to my apartment and tell Lucia what I told you the day you left for Cape Town. She will find the notebook for you. I'll be here when you come back. Jesus, Reza. Please be okay. Like I said earlier, I'm probably okay. Maybe I just forgot to check in. Maybe Wonkers has malfunctioned. Maybe... Uh, maybe I just had to leave. Quickly. But get the notebook, just in case. You're the only person I can trust with this, Zoe. Keep it safe, and I'll see you soon, okay? Thank God you're here, Liv. I don't know what to do. Reza's disappeared, and the eye's looking for him. I need you to slow down, sweetie. Where have you been? I came over last night, but you weren't home. No one had heard from you, and your mobile was off the wire. Completely. That's because I was arrested. What? There was a dead woman in Reza's apartment, and... and... and the eye raided his place while I was there. They shot me. I don't know what's happened to him, or where he is. They asked me all kinds of questions about him. I think he's in serious trouble, Liv. Calm down, sweetie. I'm sure he's all right. Take a deep breath. And start from the top. Okay. I met Reza at the coffee shop yesterday and he asked me to pick up a package. And when I woke up, I was in this strange room in the syndicate building. Alone. I spent half the night in there. Over and over again, the same questions about Reza, Jeeva, the package. They didn't let me go until early this morning. Wow. Zoe, that's... that's so scary. I can't imagine what it was like for you. You must have the worst hangover in history. Wow. Do you know what was in that package? I didn't open it, but they told me it contained a data cube with sensitive information of some sort. It had to be pretty sensitive for the eye to read Reza's place. I wonder what it was. This sounds really serious, Zoe. Whatever it was, I don't believe Reza had anything to do with the dead woman. He wouldn't hurt a fly. It must be that story he's working on. Maybe he pissed off the wrong people. Maybe he uncovered something really bad, and now... Now I'm involved too. You'll be okay, sweetie. They let you go. Hey, what was the name of that company again? I'll rustle up some contacts, do a bit of digging, see if anyone's got the lowdown. Jeeva. And the woman's name was Helena Chang. I'll send out some feelers on the old network, see what I can come up with. It has to ring someone's bell. We'll figure this thing out, Zoe. And you know, I'm sure Reza's fine. He's been in trouble before. He knows his way around those syndicate goons. Well, I don't know about that. See, I got this message from him through Wonkers. It was automatically triggered because he didn't check in for 24 hours. He wanted me to pick up his notes from his flat. I dropped by earlier, but I couldn't get in. They've sealed the door. They would. You're not meant to go snooping around there, Zoe. The eye means business. Reza's in trouble, and he needs my help. I have to get those notes. Can you help me? If you're absolutely sure? Yeah. I can get you through an eye seal, but we'll need to upgrade your mobile. What if I'm arrested again? I don't need to get charged with possession of illegal software on top of everything else. Don't worry. I'll mask the hack. Anyone checks your mobile, all they'll find are some new avatar masks. What do you want? Fluffy bunny rabbits or cuddly koala bears? Surprise me. Okay, but first, let me tell you how this hack works. The firewalls got these symbols that are difficult to automatically decipher. Don't ask me why. It's a mystery. 
All you have to do is match the symbols at the bottom of the screen with the exact same symbols in the matrix, one by one. Match all the symbols and the code breaker does the rest. But there's a time limit. Stay connected for too long and the code breaker disconnects. That way, you avoid triggering alarms. You can usually reconnect again after a few seconds. So it's almost like a game? Sweetie, it's definitely not a game. There are real people safeguarding the wire, and most of them aren't particularly friendly. You don't need to tell me that. I've learned the hard way. Okay, I'll update your mobile now. Oh, and I'm also giving you that software cloak we spoke about yesterday. You'll be invisible to everyone, even me. Great. That might come in handy. Done. You're good to go. But Zoe, promise me you'll be careful, okay? And give me a call if you need help with anything. Or get yourself into trouble. No trouble. And I'll definitely call you if I need help. Thanks, Olivia. You're the best. Sweetie, I'm sending you into eye territory equipped with an illegally modified mobile. I'm either your best friend or your worst enemy. Definitely need more practice. Zoe! 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 logo on it. A golden lion's head. about you. I had many dreams. I dreamed that you took my mind away. You're okay now, Lucia. I am? Oh, that's good. Where's Reza? He'll be back soon, I'm sure. Good. I miss Reza. Lucia? Yeah, Zoe? Please, please let this work. I'll be here when you come back. That's the password, Zoe. I guess you received the message. Don't worry, Reza's probably okay, but he needs you to do him a favor. He keeps a notepad in his safe. It contains information about the stories he's currently working on. It's encrypted, but Olivia should be able to decrypt it. Ask her to hold on to it, and don't let it fall into the wrong hands. If something bad has happened to him, 
The reason why is most likely in that notepad somewhere. In that case, make sure the truth gets out. Follow me, Zoe. I'll open a safe for you. Reza's notepad. Locked and encrypted, of course. Olivia will know how to open it. Hey! Hey, what are you doing here? Who are you? Don't! Didn't I see that same cat yesterday? Hey Zoe, what's up? You look a little pale. You're not going to believe this. I was attacked. Again. What? Sweetie, are you okay? Yeah, just... just a bit shaken. Was it the eye? No. I was in Reza's apartment, looking for his notebook when these two girls showed up. They looked like they were twins. I really thought they were going to kill me. One of them slammed me up against the wall, knocked the breath out of me and... Then they left. Both of them. Without saying a word. It looked like they received a message. What were they looking for? Did they take anything? No. They didn't even take the notebook. I dropped it on the floor. They must not have noticed it. I think I got really lucky. Then I came straight here. I need your help with the notes. And the notepad, do you still have it? Give it to me, sweetie, and I'll see what I can do. Here's Reza's notepad. Okay. Just a sec, and I'll let you know what we're dealing with. Okay, sweetie. I need time to decrypt this thing. It's got some heavy locks on it. Except for the final entry. For some reason, that's only got basic encryption. Which Reza knows I'd be able to quickly crack. Of course! He wants us to read it. It says Venice Newport, The Fringe, Charlie. That's it. Newport. That's in North America, the West Coast. I wonder what the fringe is. Maybe he's meeting this Charlie guy at a restaurant. I have to go to Newport. I don't know, sweetie. Maybe you should just give the information to Reza's editor. Let the hand that bites handle it. I can't do that. This is Reza we're talking about. He's in trouble. I can't just sit here and wait for him to come back. What if he needs my help? You're right. I mean, he's my friend too, and I want to help him. I just don't know if going to Newport is the way to do that. What else can I do? It's the only clue I have. Venice, Newport, the Fringe. That's probably where Reza's gone, to see this Charlie person. I'll work on decrypting the rest of Reza's notes. We need to figure out what he was working on. It could take a while, so I'll just close up the store. Are you sure? My regulars know how to get in touch. I'll call you as soon as I got something. Great. Thanks, Liv. You're the best. Take care, okay, sweetie? I want you back in one piece. Home and get my backpack before I leave for Newport.
I smell the enemy. They are close. Okay, Naane, you divert their attention when they get close enough. Bryn, stay behind Chuan. I can handle... I don't care if you wield your sword like an Iguinon blade dancer. We're not at home. We don't have the advantage. Follow my lead, Bryn. Your blade will taste blood today. Worry not. Let the smoke clear before you attack. The toxins lose their effect quickly, but you should still not breathe them. Got it. Hey, Juan. What do they smell like, the enemy? Hush. Hold on! What is it? Frozen water. I haven't seen this before. You'll tire of it soon enough, Bayad. It's almost like... like walking on clouds. Would you believe that some Eastlanders strap metal bars to their feet to make them glide on the ice? It looks ridiculous. Shh. Did you hear something? Where's your goddess now? Go back to the hell you came from, Azadi. The Azadi are coming farther and farther north. We kill ten, another twenty appear. So we kill them too. They're not invincible. That's not the way to stop them, Bryn. We need a better plan. Our sources in the city may have information. I hope so. But we need to focus on getting the supplies and bringing them back to the Swamplands. Everything else is secondary. They are all depending on us. If another moon passes, the children will be at risk. If they should fall ill... Naane is right. We go back as soon as we have what we came for. And we do not engage the enemy within scouting distance of the city. We'll be cautious, Shuan. Now we continue. Another few days due south, and we'll see her. Mercuria. I can't wait to see the city. If it's anything like you've described, April, it must be amazing. It's been a long time. Things change. Come on, let's move out. <laughs>